A recounting of what happened. Reader. Gather close, dear reader. My tidy narrative goes like this. Eight stowaways in the hold of the Dutch navigator died. Lack of oxygen the cause. On the feast of the Immaculate Conception, the biggest shopping day of the year. They were five men and three children who had paid to stow some harmless hours from Zeebrugge to, to Dover. Like misfiled papers, they were loaded in air with new Italian furniture or Wexford Business Park. Sailed for two days on an unkind sea to dock at Bellevue Port, <coughs> County Watford, near to where in Norman times Strongbow had married Aoife. In time, these foreign Norman, Normans became Irish, giving Wexford our castle at Ferry Carrig, as long before fierce Vikings had given us our name. In Wexford, the refugees met the trained gloves of Dr. Harbison, chief state pathologist. Driven from port to business park, enjoying a model county funeral prior to an accounting of their arrival, 100 hours contained in all. Great hatred, little room. Out of Algeria and Albania and Turkey they had come. Had they ever heard of Wexford, where for centuries we have watched hardy commoners and hail kings disembark? They met what I can only describe as a horrific death, the Irish Justice Minister explained. They had encountered smugglers and thieves in the biting corner of a dangerous town. Thank you. Um, when I uh, first lived in, uh, in America, uh, particularly living in New York, uh, one of the things I did frequently, as all immigrants do, is go to the post office. Uh, the post office was a kind of, uh, uh, that I went to then was, a, I suppose, a, like a United Nations. That there were people from all over the world uh, mailing all kinds of packages and letters home. And of course, for undocumented people, uh, the post office were a place where you could purchase money orders if you didn't have a bank account. And then about uh, 2000, 2001, when I went to the post office in my hometown of Enniscorthy, I found a similar uh, situation uh, replicated. And it was very interesting, of course, uh, to be in the post office in Enniscorthy among a lot of immigrants and to wonder who I was and where my uh, loyalties were. Was I an immigrant or uh, a returning uh, native son? So this poem is called uh, Ellis Island. It's about a visit, a visit to Ellis Island in New York, but also about returning to Enniscorthy. Ellis Island. Like thin, battered barrels rolled around the Irish, stunned families driven into first light in Sunday clothes, turned stomachs, stern medics, new world elders, stern inspection. America offering, in equal measures, forgetfulness and food. On panel 573, I note these names, Michael and Anna Wall. Early hopefuls rushed to the push street parts of downtown New York, coming under the ambivalent gaze of Henry James. America, we braved your disaffection with such raging genius that soon you hardly knew our faces from your own. That soon, uh, worldwide children cower under growth, jeeps roar through villages, crops fail and coyotes pocket coin. Monday morning, I'm home on holidays. Two Nigerian women purchase drafts for a mittens back from Enniscorthy. Disgraced a Fonfo when sent from home, tended to his mother's soil, drank the palm wine of her trees. Though they merrily crossed the Abbey Square, how strange this drab November day must seem to brave Nigerians. How quickly for each immigrant all can fall apart in fits of panic and dismay.